I'm joined here today by the one, the only, it is a man fighting, of course, at Bellator Paris. I'm talking about Darko Banovich taking on Mads Brunel. What's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, thank you, bro. I'm fine. I'm just finished my training here. And I'm now in Stockholm, you know, doing my fight camp here. Yeah. <laughs> How's training camp going so far? I know uh, today was sprint, so it must have been a, a tough training session. Yeah, yeah, it was tough here. The training is, I think, one of the toughest in the world. We had in the morning, we had uh, sparring, like 10, uh, 10 rounds sparring. And now in, the, um, now in the evening, we had sprints. And I think we have maybe one more hard training session before the fight week. And then, uh, then I fly to Paris. And so uh, what, does the, uh, what does the sprints do? Is that for conditioning? Is that uh, getting used to the intensity of the fight? What's the sprinting for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It simula It makes a simulation, like similar like a fight because it pushes you. Sometimes I think even it's it's much harder than a fight, you know. Yeah. So it really pushes you uh, to the limit, over the limit, you know. So if you if you're used to sprints, it's not just sprints, you know. Sometimes also we mix it with the air bike, you know. But but it makes you a very good tam uh, stamina, you know. Of course, and uh, you are going to be fighting with Bellator for the first time. How did the signing with Bellator yeah. come together? Yeah, you know, um, uh, my management, uh, heavy duty management, Carl Messen, you know, uh, he wrote me like, hey, Daco, how are you doing? Are you in training? You know, maybe I get you in Bellator. And I was like, whoa, you yeah. serious, you know? And then he, he wrote me like, hey, I will message you in, tw uh, in 24, 84 hours. And I was like, okay, man, I couldn't sleep, you know, <laughs> like one day I was so excited. And then maybe I thought ah, it could be maybe just a backup, you know, maybe somebody gets injured. And then boom, I got the message and he's like, yeah, Daco, he is the deal. And I was like, wow, you know, uh, really excited for this fight, you know. And I mean, uh, fighting in France, obviously, that's a big thing, right? That's going to be like the first major show, uh, I believe, ever in France with the sport being illegal for so long. Uh, what did what did you yeah. think when uh, you found out you'd be fighting in Paris? You know, I have never been in Paris before, you know, so I'm really excited just to see the city. And, and you know, it's, it's really cool that uh, because, like you said, a few months before um, MMA was illegal in France and now Bellator is coming for the first time there. I don't know how the fuck they did this, but it's amazing, you know, and I'm a part of it. So, yeah, to show the, the world that MMA is really a um, high level sport, you know, is a mix, always have been. And yeah, I'm going to present this. And so I want to talk about your background a little bit, because I believe you're originally from uh, Bosnia, but uh, you live in Austria. And now, of course, you're training in Sweden. Uh, starting with Bosnia, though, what's the MMA like over there? I assume it's not too, too popular over there. Yeah, it's not too popular, but the people love the sport. You know, there's a lot of fighters, a lot of talented kids, you know, just waiting for the opportunities. You know, there are not many events, but we have a lot of clubs uh, who... Um, they offer to train MMA. We have a lot of fighters fighting international, you know, and and you know the, the Bosnia is a is a poor country, you know. That's why there are not really many events, but we have a lot of talented kids and the crowd, the people, they love combat sports, you know. So if there are one guy is fighting, is is like Klitschko is fighting, you know, everybody's <laughs> watching it, you know. So yeah. And so, uh, do you have a lot of fans from Bosnia? Like, I assume when people find out you're from Bosnia, you must have, like, a lot of followers from uh, that particular country. Yes, yes, I have a lot of support from Bosnia also. So, I have, I have it everywhere from Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia. I have it from Austria, Germany, everywhere, you know. So, so yeah. what does that mean to you to have so many fans from uh, all these different countries in Europe? Yeah, I like it, you know. It makes me... Uh, uh, it motivates me, you know, when I see a lot of people are pushing me, you know, and they they write me, hey, Daco, hey, I want to be like you one day, or I want to start training because of you. This, make, this makes me happy, you know. So, so yeah, every day when you get this kind of message, it, it makes you happy, you know. So. And so uh, let's talk about your fight a little bit. Obviously, you're taking on okay. Mads Burnell. Uh, what was your reaction when your manager came to you and told you, like, that was the fight that was happening with Bellator? You know, it was interesting because I was supposed this February to fight uh, against a uh, career in Cage Warriors for the interim light, uh, lightweight, uh, interim featherweight title, you know. And I was thinking, okay, mm -hmm, let's check who is this guy. And I was like, okay, if I win this guy, 
no, if I win him, when I win this guy, who is the champion? And I was, I saw Matt Brunel was the Cage Warriors champion, yeah? And I was like, okay, so I already checked his fight six, seven, like eight months before, you know, because I was, I was thinking about, okay, soon we're going to fight, you know? So the name is not new for me. I watched his, his last fights um, almost eight months before, you know? So, so I imagine our fight a long time before I and so does this feel a little bit like a title fight for you, knowing that he was the champion? Like, it's got to add a little bit extra for you. Yeah, I, uh, you know, he, is, he has a strong name. He, he was in the UFC. He's a, uh, he was the uh, Cage Warriors champion, you know. He's a black belt. Uh, a lot of people know him. It doesn't matter if I talk to anyone here. Oh, Matt Bernard, you're fighting him. Oh, great matchup, you know. And this, so I, I'm really glad to fight this guy, you know. I'm so happy for this. And so what does a win over him do for your career? I assume with a win like that, like that's got to put you everywhere, right? Everyone's going to start talking about you. Like it must be a, a very big victory if you get this one. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm, I know I'm going to win this fight. And, and if, if I win this fight, I just climb to the top. I'm going to uh, get go for the Bellator title. And so how does it feel to be with a, an organization like Bellator? I assume it must feel pretty good. We've seen you in different places. But now Bellator, that's, I mean, it's, it's a big name, Bellator. Yeah, Bellator is, uh, I cannot describe, still cannot believe that I'm fighting there, you know. So I'm so, so happy, man. Is this a dream coming true? You know, I'm working like a training now nearly 12 years, you know. It's like, it's a big investment, you know. It's, it's not easy life as a fighter, you know, because you don't get so much money. You are not, uh, you, you have not the biggest support like everyone and after 11 12 years and they, there's the chance fighting in bellator is a dream come true you know so um, i'm really looking forward for it and so the fight with uh Burnell, obviously it's a very interesting fight how do you like the matchup in this one yeah i like it i like it i mean for me it's always interesting to fight any guys you know me with different backgrounds like he's a boxer he's a wrestler or he's a jiu-jitsu or a judo yeah, I, that's that's why i love mma you know you always have to change your game plan and i'm so excited for him to fight him you know and so uh, when does the weight cut start for you it already started you know i watch my weight because i don't want to cut thought that much i'm gonna be really fresh for three rounds and i already started like three weeks before you know and still in progress so are you at the point where you have to drink i know some guys are drinking like 10 liters of water a day and stuff like that yeah, are you yeah, at that yeah. point not at that point on sunday you're gonna be at that point <laughs> yeah, well, how do you feel when you have to drink all that water like i assume half your day is spent in the bathroom it's got to make your day very difficult yeah, it's, it's really hard you know you're just drinking drinking running to the toilet and the problem is you know you cannot go walking out there because i i hate to stay at home all the time you know i li always like to move to go around you know but the problem in public you have to run to the toilet everywhere right. so it's really stressful you know yeah of course. Uh, when you get to Paris, do you have any plans to uh, sort of visit or do anything maybe before the fight, after the fight? Do you have any plans like that? Uh, you mean in Paris? Yes. Yes, uh, I would love to, to, you know, to see the Tower of French, you know, Eiffel Turm. I don't know how you call it on yeah, English. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower, yeah. Uh, yeah, Eiffel Tower, and I would uh, love to watch the city a little bit, but the problem is I don't know if we are allowed to um, 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 go out from the hotel because of yeah. the COVID-19, you know, so it can, it could be that we have to stay like one week just in the hotel, you know, just to uh, special areas like restaurant, like uh, training room, shower and go back to the room. So I don't know how the situation they're gonna, is going to be. Of course, that's true. It could be complicated. Uh, listen, one last yeah. question for you and uh, we'll let you go. But how do you see yourself getting this victory against Burnell? I always see, um, I think it's going to be a TKO. I'm going to finish him. All right. Well, there we go. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great fight. Thank you so much for the yeah, time. Yeah, me too. Hey, thank you, buddy. Uh, see you soon, okay?